Hi there, it's Pat from Pat's Brewery and I bought myself an ice spindle or three. So first of all this is not a how to calibrate video there's other videos on YouTube for that not that I think you particularly need them if you follow the right instructions. This is just a video about my experience a few questions that you may have and my best attempt at answering them. So let's get started. So if the question is first of all what is an ice spindle it's an electronic hydrometer and you say what well, what's an electronic hydrometer? Um, this is an electronic hydrometer. Effectively, instead of your standard hydrometer, which um, will float at a specific level, uh, which determines your gravity within the wart, um, a electronic hydrometer uses a tilt calculation, which determines the amount of sugar in there. So if there's no sugar, it sits in a vertical position, and the more sugar is in there, it turns into a horizontal. So that's why one of the other products out there is called a tilt. So why did I buy an electronic hydrometer? Well, that's a good question. Um, well, to be honest, it's because of the new fermenter setup that I have had. So I've recently gone over to uh, some all-rounders um, and I find it a little bit more difficult to take readings from them um, in the traditional method. Uh, if you're fermenting under pressure, uh, which I sometimes do, then obviously you don't want to be uncapping the, uh, the fermenter to take a reading out that way. Um, and you might not always want to set it up so that you're extracting beer through the dip tube that's in there. So, for that reason, having a device that can just sit within the wort throughout the fermentation um, and sends you regular updates with regards to its progress, I think it's quite handy. So no, it's not a need to have brewery item, but for my current setup, I think it does make my life a little bit easier. So that's why I decided to go down this route. Now, why did I choose the ice spindle over the other couple of products that are out there? The other products being the Tilt or the Wrapped Pill. Well, the Wrapped Pill is currently selling for about £96, the Tilt for about £149, and the ice spindle, already built and in one piece, um, comes to about £38. So, although I bought three of them, it only cost me £114, which pretty good deal in my mind. But why did I buy three? Well, for me, it actually did make sense because I've been doing quite a few consecutive brew days recently um, and I have had all three of my ice spindles in use at once. Um, so for me, it just did make sense for those um, you know, repeated brew days uh, the most I can brew is three at a time, so I thought, why not? Um, again, the price of them compared to the, uh, the others allowed me to do that. The next question you're going to be asking is, well, how accurate are they? And I've got to be honest, the standard calibration formula that uh, comes with the ice spindles, um, I wouldn't go by it, personally. Um, I had three, so obviously I was able to, to look at the, across the board and one of them, when placed in just regular water, um, read correctly at 1.000. Uh, another one came across as 1010 and the other one as 1015. So I did have to calibrate them all. And to be fair, that's what it does recommend in all of the instructions. As far as what you actually need to do to calibrate these, it's not that difficult. Um, effectively, what you do is you um, take some readings of the tilt levels uh, against a hydrometer. So you still need a, a good hydrometer to effectively um, take readings of what the tilt calculate, uh, what the tilt level is on the device against the hydrometer. So you add some sugar 
which changes the tilt level, you read the hydrometer level, you plug that all into a bit of paper and then log it into a formula. That comes out with a calibration code. You then take that code and plug that into the eye spindle and that's it, you're done. And what I will say is that I only calibrated mine up to 1060, which does mean that if you are fermenting a beer that is a higher gravity than 1060, the eye spindle won't give you the most accurate of readings. Obviously, the more data you give it, the better the calibration and more accurate it will be. What it does do is gives you a really good idea with regards to where you are at the beginning or end of your fermentation. And just to note, I recommend if you do buy more than uh, one eye spindle, calibrate them all at the same time. Um, if you've got a five litre jug, this is perfect. They all do sit in here and can rest completely horizontally when you're at those higher sugar levels. Now the reason I'm not giving you more details on how to calibrate your eye spindles is as I say, it's not that difficult. The guy that I purchased these from gave really good instructions, so I just really recommend that you read it through slowly and pro follow the steps. So, I guess the next thing that you'll want to know is, well, what's the outputs like? What's the software? Well, the standard software for the eye spindle uh, that I've got here is through a system called UbiDots, and yeah, it's pretty good. Um, it takes a little while to get used to, you've got to set up your own widgets and bits and pieces so that you're looking at the data as you want to see it with either you know, line graphs and whether or not you're recording gravity, temperature, battery life, um, all those sorts of things. But actually I found that um, the ice middle really kind of helped me out when I attached it to the Brewfather app. Now for those of you that do use the Brewfather app, you might have seen that you do need to pay for the eye spindle feature. But if you're already doing that, then it's not an issue. I'm not going to go into the details of uh, the Brewfather app too much, but what I will say is that by attaching these to the Brewfather app, it gave a really good progression of your batch. So going from, you know, 0% complete all the way to 100%. And it also produces a cool little graph that identifies you know, the gravity at that stage. Something worth noting though, is that you do need to change the name of your eye spindle um, if you're going to have it working alongside the Brewfather app, if you're using uh, SG rather than the Plato calculation, which I am. And what do I mean by change its name? Now I don't mean anything too drastic. What you've got to do is actually within the name of the eye spindle when you're doing its uh, configuration, you just use the square brackets at the end of the name and you put in an SG. So nothing too stressful. And I think while you're at it, you might as well you know, give it a little bit more of a meaningful name rather than 0001. Give it your, your red, your blue or your black. Now when I was looking into the eye spindles, one of the uh, reviews that I saw was that their connection to Wi-Fi wasn't that great um, and you may need a booster. So what I can say from my experience is that these are connecting to the router fine. Um, for me, they need to go through an external and an internal brick wall before reaching the router um, and they seem to be able to do that without a problem. I have heard that um, if you're fermenting from within a fermentation fridge, it can also uh, reduce the connection. I've done that with one of my brews, not an issue at all. So yeah, um, I guess it all just depends on the quality of your router and your internet connection in your house. So yeah, overall, do I recommend the eye spindle? Yes, I do. Uh, for me, it's served me well. Um, I've used it now in, I think, five beers, and I'm going to be using them for many more. That being said, I don't think you can beat a good quality hydrometer. Um, and actually, I'm going to drop a link in the description down below to the one that I use, um, because 
I really do think that um, having a decent hydrometer for your first and last uh, calculations just you know it's the most important part so you know don't don't skimp out there so obviously people have different experience with these products um, if you've bought one of these and had a different experience or had the same and said that they are really good uh, comment down below and uh, let people have a discussion um, one of the things I would say is it also depends on the quality of the build that's why I'm going to stick in the description down below a link to where I bought these from because as I've said for all of this I've had a good experience so until next time guys that's been me Pat at Pat's Brewery and uh, this is the ice spindle and uh, yeah I think it's time to have a beer cheers Thank <sniffs> you.